Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To Use. In this video, I'll be showing you, or we'll be discussing with you, coin stats review and tutorial for beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just on this video. Let's get started. So, you might be wondering how to exactly uh, use or start using coin stats here. Well, this one is fairly easy. First things first is you want to go ahead and just download the app, or you could go ahead and access their official website. So, you want to open up Google Play Store here, you want to look for coin stats, and you want to go ahead and just install this on your mobile device. But for now, let's go ahead and click on open. And in order for us to get started, we first need to create our account. Now, in here, you want to go ahead and click on the Get Started button, you see at the very bottom of your screen. Now, first is they will ask you about information about what brings you to coin, uh, coin stats like for example you want to manage your uh, crypto portfolio let's go and click on continue now from here it's going to say what's your uh, crypto portfolio target value go and choose choose uh, choose your value you could go and enter a custom goal as well but for now let's go and click on connect portfolio and start now in here it should give you the option to start connecting your portfolio now if you don't want to do this for now you can go and just click on later but if you want to connect your portfolio go and choose one of them now, if you have a Binance account, choose Binance, MetaMask for MetaMask, Coinbase, Coinbase, and uh, as you go here. But let's go and click on Leader for now. Now, from here, it's going to ask you what's your favorite coins. So, for example, I want to add Ethereum, Bitcoin, and maybe I want to add Tether as well. Let's go and click on Track 3 Coins. Now, from here, it's going to say good job. Let's go and click on Perfect. Now, from here, it's going to ask you to grant permission for a notification. You could go and click on grant permission and just follow the on screen steps if you want to provide permission. But for now, let's go and click on the X button at the top right. Now, once you've done that, it should give you the option to start viewing your account. Now, at the bottom of your screen, you have five options. So you have the main section, which should give you the general information about uh, what's happening right now, like the top coins right now, the favorites, the trending coins, top gainers, top losers, categories, NFTs, and a lot more. So you should also see a section here that says insights and also trading addresses, notable portfolios, and also news. Now, basically, the main section is going to be your homepage where you can see everything at a glance. Now, if you click on the portfolio button, this will basically show your portfolio. So how your portfolio is doing right now, what's the current uh, value of your portfolio. Now, if you want to connect your portfolio, you could go and just choose the uh, MetaMask, Phantom, or click on other here to start connecting your portfolios. Now, for example, if you want to connect your Binance account, go and choose Binance. And from here, what you need to do is you just need to follow the on-screen steps. Now, from here, you may need to get a uh, QR code. So uh, by the way, you could go and just uh, follow the on-screen steps uh, that you see in here. The, now, these steps may be different depending on what platform or what wallet you're currently connecting. It's going to go back. Now, from here, you also have the option to track a wallet here. So in this case, if you click on track any wallet, you can go and just add the address of that wallet here, and you should be able to start tracking that wallet. Now, keep note, this is not uh, if you do just add this as a option or if you just if you use the tracking option here you won't be able to withdraw from the wallet it's more of like monitoring uh, exactly how much the wallet is worth right now and what's currently happening in the wallet now also you have the manual transactions here if you want to manually input your transactions now if you click on the plus button you see at the bottom of the screen you have the option to start swapping start earning adding transactions in here connecting portfolios and track any wallet now basically this is where you could add your um or in this case, the hot, uh, the hot icons or in order for you to access uh, the major features that, in this case, CoinStats offer here. So it includes all the following here. Now, if you click on the alerts, this is where you could basically uh, alert on certain uh, what's happening right now. Like, for example, from here, you could basically add like price limit here. So customize event settings to for coin price changes. So if you click on price limit, you have the option to choose the currency and set a, a an alert for that. Like for example, if uh, you could go and set a target price here or alert by percent. Like if increase like a certain percent, like increase like 5% or whatever. Like you also change the exchange pair here and also the frequency. If you want to make this as a persistent thing, go and click on persistent. So this is just a great way for you to start monitoring and be, or on being alerted on certain changes. Like if you really want to start trading, like for example, it, the value itself has dropped. Maybe you want to buy uh, on that specific value. So keep going, just uh, alert, like add in alert, like for negative 5% or something like that. Now you can also choose the auto option here if you want to uh, change the or add the following or use the auto uh, functionalities. 
So you could go and just choose the market updates, new pair notification, team update notifications, and a lot more. Now, if you click on the more button, you see at the bottom right here, you should be able to uh, see uh, the account section. Now, in here, you should see like crypto news, converter calculator, your settings here, even joining the community. Now, in here, you should also have the option to create your account. Go and click on sign up here. And from here, just create your account in whatever way. Now, if you want to create your account manually, you could go enter your email and your password. And if you want to create your uh, account via certain social medias like Coinbase, uh, Twitter or X, Facebook or your Google account. Or you can even connect your own wallet here if you want to start swapping via the platform. But that's about it. So those are the basics in order for you to get started here in using CoinSats. And that's about it. So if you found this video, helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.